ball position. Oh my gosh, one of the most exciting things I like to talk about. I've got to give you a story though. I asked Ben Hogan the time I had a lesson with him. I said, Mr. Hogan, how much do you move the ball in your stance? And he says, I move it an inch and a half from my wedge to my driver. And I said, that's it? You don't start at the back and move forward? And he goes, no. So it's kind of one of those times where I went an inch and a half. I wonder why it just moves it an inch and a half. So is it like a quarter of an inch per club or something? And then it hit me. The tees back then were an inch and a half tall. So when he teed up that driver, since it was an inch and a half off the ground, he had to move it an inch and a half ahead. What was he telling me? He hit every shot from the same position. That means that was the bottom of his swing. And we all need to find the bottom of our swing. And that's where our ball position needs to be. We're all built differently. You know, the funny thing is I'm 6'3 with an arm span 6'9. You might be 5 feet 11, which is my good friend Mike Dunaway, and he has an arm span of 5'5. Five five. His ball position is a little more forward than mine because it's how we're built, the uniqueness. And that's what we got to address here. So I want to start with you on a myth of something. People are watching this on TV. Let me give you an example. You see these players hit a wedge. They set up to hit the ball. They've got their good posture, their good grip. And right now, when you look at this, the ball looks like it's in the middle of my stance. Notice where the grip end of the club is pointing right now for me. It's pointing just left of my belt buckle. Okay. Now, when I go to a longer club, it looks like the ball position is moved forward. It's not. <clears throat> I want to show you this. So now I've, I've had my pitching wedge. Now I'm going to go to my forearm. It's a little bit longer club. I've got to move a little bit away from the ball because it is a longer club. And my right foot has to move a little bit back because I want to stabilize. It's a bigger swing. Now, that ball looks like it's been moved forward in my stance. But if you'll notice, where's the grip end pointing again? just left of my belt buckle. So the ball needs to be in the same position for every shot. But your ball position, which is the bottom of your swing, is unique to how you're built. Remember, it's your unique swing that I'm gonna work with and help you drive it further.